Hello, my name is Kamal. I I I am from the clouds. I'm a human. I'm a human now, but I used to be. I used to be a ranger. Word up. I'm really good at putting words up. I make them levitate and circle with the birds. I don't need to force it. I let it occur. Whatever occurs. Thank you. Feel like I was touched by an angel. Once again, a whole nother angle. I got a lot of holes in my angle. I got a lot of love and a whole lot of ignorance. You, you, you know what? I'm not really surprised. I'm not surprised in the least bit. What they're about to do, to, what, they're try, what they're trying to do to uh, Lieutenant Governor of Virginia, of Virginia, Justin Fairfax, Justin Fairfax, um, like who's who's uh, somewhat in the midst of this uh, blackface controversy that that's 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 dealing with the Virginia governor, uh, Governor Northup, if I'm not mistaken, and like due to the fact that he's a Lieutenant Governor, you know how the media does. The media has to always got to find like a a, a black whenever a white man is under fire. They always have to find the black equivalent or the next or the next best thing or the next worst thing or like um and so, so therefore therefore you have justin fairfax like people look like uh it hasn't been like uh it hasn't been a black governor in years the last the last black man to hold the position of a black governor was none other than um uh, Douglas Wilder. Douglas Wilder was the first black man to be uh, elected to be elected uh, governor of Virginia. But now here we are in 2019. 2019, and uh, we have this uh, this uh, this the uh, the typical same old controversy. Uh, um, uh, um, a politician uh, took pictures w while wearing blackface or wearing a Klan suit. And like it's, it's surface, it's uh, all of a sudden surface. Now, uh, now Northam, he, um, he, um, he, he was, he, he's accused of blackface. Like they, they know what they're doing. They know that that shit is offensive, but they don't care. Look, look how many uh, white politicians have been caught wearing blackface, and they, uh, they assume that it wasn't offensive. They know it's offensive. That that's another tactic that they do play, play stupid. Like that, like they don't, like like they don't, like they don't have any common sense or whatnot. But Northam knew he knew that was offensive, um, doing blackface in a yearbook, and he and due to the fact that uh, the yearbook was in 1984 when there was no social media and there was no internet, and uh, that yearbook would probably only be seen within the confines, confines of that uh, uh, university or state. He assumed that it wouldn't. He probably assumed that it wouldn't resurface, and lo and behold, it did resurface. Like we're, we're living in the age of social media. It's like whatever you've done, it, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it wasn't done. If it was done over thirty years ago, when the, when there was no internet whatsoever. But but see stuff like stuff like this will eventually haunt you. What, what they say? Uh, my, my mother used to tell me, "What you do in the dark, will come to the light." And like um, and now that they they're looking for the they they don't want they don't want all the pressure to be on the white guy, so they got to find a black dude. And who's the who's the nearest one? Justin Fairfax. This this woman uh this woman named Doctor Vanessa Tyson, a sister, quote unquote, accused him of sexual assault. Accused him of like um back in two thousand and four, um for uh, like he she said he forced forced her to do oral sex on him, and like um and like um. And like um, they, they uh, she she uh, she accused him of doing that in two thousand and four. But there was another so called quote unquote incident in two thousand. Mind you, these uh, these so called incidents were over ten years ago. But now these women are coming for. Now these women are uh, uh, saying something. See, it, it, it's the it's the Cosby accusations all over again. These women have no proof, no solid evidence. If, if uh, he did do that, they didn't go to the police. Why are they just not coming forward now? Why? Because he might become governor if a uh, Northam uh, resigns or if he's uh, kicked out of office. N notice a year ago, she didn't mention this. The year before, she didn't mention this. Five years ago, she didn't mention this. Ten years ago, she didn't mention this. And then, like, I'm, I'm, I'm like, um, why she didn't say, say nothing back then? I guarantee you, uh, if he wasn't a lieutenant governor, he would probably just, um, well, what's his profession? He's a lawyer. He's just a lawyer in his own private practice. I guarantee you, she would have never opened her mouth up. But see, now they had to find they had to find somebody to um 
uh, to accuse him or something. But, you know, if he caves in and resigns, I hope he doesn't resign. But if he caves in and resigns, uh, you ain't going to hear nothing else from it. It's, it's like um, that, it's like that brother who tried to run for office back uh, before, uh, back in. Um, damn, I forget, I forget the dude name. He he he, uh, he 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 was like a piece of parlor owner. And he, he ran for the public office and all these women so women came out saying that he sexually harassed him and he stepped down. And, no, and you didn't hear nothing from it since. Like um, like if if uh, Justin Fairfax steps steps down, uh, I guarantee you, Doctor Vanessa Tyson is not going to say anything else about it. I, I, you you ain't gonna hear nothing else from it. They're just doing this because he might be uh, he uh, he he might be governor. This happens all the time with black men. And like and it's a shame that that, that uh, there's some sisters out there who are, who are playing into this. But like uh, if Vanessa Tyson, if she was raped or forced or or copulation, why is she just not coming forward with it now? Why is she just not coming forward with it now? This is some this is total bullshit. Okay, um, Justin Fair, it's not fair what they're doing to Justin Fairfax. Uh, 